Hi folks, welcome back. Um, this is the second part of uh, the uh, tips on better painting. And uh, in that first part, we talked about the importance, as far as I'm concerned anyway, of uh, a limited palette. And uh, I'm encouraged that uh, I know that a lot of other professional artists work uh, in a similar way. So um, moving on from that, we talked about harmonisation. And I think if you look at the painting, and again, I uh, apologise for the lighting in here. Um, it actually looks better as I'm looking at it than it does through uh, through the camera, unfortunately. But I'd just like to point out a few areas, and I've actually got some paint on the brush at the moment. There we are. Now you can't tell what colour that is, but basically it's a mixture of burnt umber and the cobalt blue and a little bit of white which is actually making the green in uh, these areas of the waves. So it sounds strange because you wouldn't you know, normally mix those kind of colours to get green, but then it's not green. It's, it's all these areas, all these colours that are, that are there in the sky, present in the sea and the sand and so on and so forth. So um, harmonisation, very much so. If you're going to put this shade in, put it in in lots of different places. And look to it actually balancing with other areas of the picture. And I think that's very, very important. I can't uh, stress it too much. So the other thing I would say, and this is less about harmonisation and more about good painting technique, is, and I have to say this to students time and time and time again, you must, must stop and look at what you're doing on a regular basis, otherwise you will make mistakes. So if there was a tip about harmonization of color, it is putting that color in, not just in one area of the painting, but in lots of different areas. And it may be that you go over the top, you may put too much in, or you may have it slightly lighter, slightly darker, so a, 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 a slightly different tone. But if you've applied it in a number of different places in the painting, you will, it will sit well in the picture. Um, a, if you introduce a colour that is completely alien, um, if I was to put a yellow in here somewhere, I would have to really radically change the picture. And it's very rare that an artist will use paint straight from the tube it's always going to be a tone. Take a look at the palette. You can see there are so many different tones. And when you come to mix a color, you'll invariably never mix enough um, or you mix too much. And when that happens, it's fine. Go with it, add a little bit here, a little bit there, balance the painting, balance things up. I can see that I need um, different areas need a little bit of this color but most of all most of all stop what you're doing stand back take a look it's so important to do that and i cannot stress it enough you will save yourself an awful lot of heartache if you take the time to stand and stare anyway there'll be more about harmonization as we go along Think about that as you add colour, add it in several different places and look at the whole picture. Don't get bogged down in one area of the picture. You might have noticed since we shot the first video that lots of things have moved along in this picture in different areas, but there are still marks. There are still chalk marks there indicating to me where I need to think about highlights, where I've put the highlights in. It makes such a difference in here as well. But that's again something for another video talking about the importance of highlights and of course shadow and you can probably see this here again we'll talk about that further thanks for your time thanks for watching the videos and keep watching happy painting